Okay, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 blog blog talk. I got a, f a couple topics to talk about today. Um, one is about a book. Uh, two is about driving in general. And the first one we're going to start out with is, oh my gosh, I did not know that it was um, Truck Driver Appreciation Week here in the United States. I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, but apparently it is. And so in honor of our truck drivers that deliver our freight to our stores and to our mailboxes I'm going to play Euro Truck Simulator 2 until every day until uh, the 19th which will be the end of the week um, so that is what you can expect a lot of talking 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 nothing but it. nothing but it. but a but a but a I'm sorry, I, I watched Cloud Atlas one time and now I got this thing in my head where I have to talk weird and in strange syllables and I don't know, that's a weird movie. Um, okay, so let's get to uh, the second topic that I wanted to talk about. Not the book, that's going to be saved till later. I'm going to rant for a little bit. And if you're watching the video and not just listening to my wonderful voice, um, actually, I probably should have said that, wonderful voice, uh, you're going to notice something real quick. There's no car coming. Nope. Freaking that stupid car hit the side of my truck, and then I hit the front of my truck. The, the entire beginning of this video is just crazy madness and yeah <laughs> not much to say about that but I do redeem myself a little bit in my eyes um anyway what was the talk about oh yes the second topic of uh today's vlog video thing is uh driving driving in real life most of us do it if you're an adult or a young adult that has your driver's permanent permanent permit uh you drive. You drive on the roads. I drive in Arizona. And some Arizona drivers are just freaking insane. They're crazy. They don't know how to drive. And the scary part is, they're all experienced drivers. And they have absolutely no patience. <laughs> um, for example, uh, this morning as I was driving home from... Uh, work I stop at a Safeway to get my Starbucks coffee because I I trust the people that work at that Safeway to make my coffee and they make it good um, but I stopped at a four-way stop sign and I don't know if I'm wrong I'm going to explain my theory of a four-way stop and you can tell me in the comments below or on Twitter plug uh, if I'm correct in thinking this way um, I think that a four-way stop is kind of a first-come, first-serve, you know, kind of deal. Where, say you got, for example, uh, what happened to me this morning. I pulled up to the stop sign. And a, f like, one and a half seconds later, the guy who's turning left, t on my left, turning to go the same direction as me stops. I stopped first. I know I stopped first because I saw myself stop. So I start to go because, again, I think it's a first come, first serve kind of deal. But at the same time I'm going, he's going. So I'm like, dude, uh, do you know what a four-way stop is? You know, because you stopped after I stopped. And you want to go before me? Like, what the... What the H? What the... You know? Uh, so maybe I'm wrong. I don't... I don't know. I narrowly escaped 
uh, death at least, or, you know, traffic accidents, at least two times within 48 hours. <laughs> uh, one, I was driving at night, and uh, this guy was pulling off of um, the 303, which is a uh, freeway slash uh, route that gets you around uh, the area faster. He was turning off of that. I was in the slow lane, or the passive-aggressive lane, and he, I guess, misjudged what lane I was in, or he misjudged the distance away from me, but he turned right in front of me, and I kid you not, I am so lucky that there wasn't a car behind me in, um, in the fast lane or the overly aggressive lane, um, because I had... I had to switch lanes in the middle of an intersection, um, and I missed his car. He was driving, or he or she, was driving a Dodge Charger, brand freaking new Dodge Charger, and pulled out in front of me. Like, seriously, that car costs a pretty decent penny, and you're going to mess it up on the faith that I'm going to miss you? as you're turning in front of me <laughs> like what is, what are you thinking dude and the second uh the second accident almost happened yesterday where i was driving into town again and uh this car that was driving next to me started to veer into my lane without signaling and i'm like okay okay well i'll slow down if you really want to get in <laughs> But then I guess he figured that I was right beside him. I was literally right next to him. I could look in the the front seat windows, okay? So there was no uh, not knowing that I was there. There was no, uh, you know, accidental stuff happening here. Um, but <laughs> anyway, I fell back. Because if this guy wanted over, I was going to let him get over. Because I'm a nice guy. That's how I roll. Um, again, I'm passive-aggressive. So, But I guess he felt, he or she, felt um, awkward. Excuse me. <sighs> uh, felt awkward. And they avoided me for the rest of the time that we were on the road together. <laughs> that was literally probably the funniest uh, thing that someone's ever done on a road with me. Because uh, that's never happened before, that somebody just avoids the person that they almost crashed into. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, four-way stop. You tell me, am I right in thinking that? That was the entire point of that topic. And third, I got back into reading books. I'm reading a book right now called The Choosing by Rachel Decker, who is the oldest daughter of a very, very talented uh, suspense thriller writer, uh, Ted Decker. And if you ever have the opportunity to read any of his books, I beg you read some of his books because they are worth the time they are worth the time and if you don't like reading audible.com plug uh even though i'm not sponsored and yeah but audible.com is a great way to get books read to you and you still get to experience it any who's uh rochelle decker rachel decker Rich, i think it's rochelle i think going to go out on a limb and say that but Rochelle Decker's book The Choosing oh my gosh I'm not going to spoil it for you in case you want to read it but from the moment from the moment the book starts it's action you're thrust straight into it I love that uh, we kind of have a dystopian futuristic thing going on because it's set in the year 20, uh, 2257 or something uh, so 2257 and you know the world's gone to ruin and stuff because of stuff 
that you can probably guess because if you've watched movies about stuff <laughs> zombie no not zombies but movies about fall of the earth type stuff you can probably guess what what's going on in the book it reminded me immediately of divergence and the hunger games the just the setting of the book and like the rules and the vision of oh shit and the division of the people in the society it reminded me a lot of Divergent. Uh, and it reminded me a lot of the Hunger Games where you have just all the powerful people pulling all of the strings in everybody's lives. And I, I'm in the middle of the book right now because uh, I want to read it. I want to get it done by Friday. I want to get this book done by Friday so I can start reading um, Percy Jackson uh, and The Lightning Thief. I went ahead and got a uh, Barnes & Noble Collector's Edition, which looks uh, fantastic. It looks great. I It has on the uh, inside cover. It's a, hard, it's a hard cover, but on the inside, it has all the um, different artworks for the different languages that it's printed in fantastic uh kudos on that i love it um i've never read percy jackson personally because when the movie came out it was marketed as a kid's movie or you know as a you know, young adult movie and i was not into that <laughs> at all <laughs> um but i heard um x Christine X, Christine May something, Poland Bananas Books, Poland Banana Books, go check her out, she's a really entertaining uh, young lady who reads a lot and loves acting in very weird roles, I, I don't, I probably would act the same way as a matter of fact. Um, but I watched her book talk videos on the, uh, Percy Jackson, uh, series, and, you know, she says they're alright books, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say they might be alright, so I'll give them a try, I'll give them a try. Um, but I think that's gonna be about it for this video, I hope you guys got something out of it. I hope this was informative for you for whatever reason, and I will see you next time tomorrow. Bye-bye.